the people parade. We had a parade on June, on June 13th. The old women, imagine them marching in this parade carrying their shoes. Wow. Why did that they carry was, their shoes? That was their devotion to St. Anthony. That was their penance. Right. St. Anthony would be held on the shoulders on a pedestal type thing, and there would be maybe three, six, eight to twelve people carrying St. Anthony, and they would go up and down the streets of her. Wow. Would there be and music? Or? Yes. That's what it was. A, it was the old Lowellville band. Wow. They have been involved with this since way back. And they would have the band and they would play traditional Italian music. And if you cared for them to stop at your house, you put a little table on it, put an old-fashioned doily on it, and had a pitcher of cold lemonade and a bottle of cold wine. <laughs> and the people, the men would set the saint down, go into a prayer thing, and these old ladies get down on their knees the cobblestone streets and pray with you. And they would, most of the women would have a cold lemonade as a refreshment, and the men a glass of wine, or whatever they choose to have. Then pick up the saint and go to the next one. This would start at sunrise. And they would travel. Now they would skip some streets that didn't want to participate. Then they would go to the west side of Youngstown, down through the steel mill, through the tunnel, and over the old Briar Hill Bridge, because many parishioners of Italian descent live on the west side, Wafer Sli Waverly Street, Division Street, Imperial Street, Salt Springs. A lot of them were St. Anthony parishioners, and they would wake, and they accommodated them. One of